So we've moved out of our house, we've sold all our stuff, and I just wanted to give you this quick update video and let you know what we've been up to uh, for the last few weeks. Here's where we're living now. We are in our in-laws basement. Now, if you recall, I sold my truck and what we've been using uh, since I don't have the truck anymore is actually this car. This is my sister's car that she was so generous to let us use. That gives us two vehicles, but I want to show you the other side of the car. Yeah, she's a little beat up, uh, broken and bruised, so this actually makes for, uh, for a pretty entertaining uh, transportation. What's funny is the front seat of the car, the seat belt doesn't work, so when, when Tambi and Molly and I have to go somewhere, I drive usually, and then Molly and Tambi are in the back seat. And it's kind of like uh, driving Miss Daisy, so uh, we've lovingly named this car Daisy. One more quick little thing that's pretty new right now is, if you remember about our, our vehicles from a couple uh, videos ago, we had my truck and we had Tamby's car. Uh, the bad news about Tamby's car uh, is that we were in a wreck uh, just a day or two ago, so that car is out of commission. So the only car that we have right now to use is Daisy. I'll show you a picture of Tamby's car right now. Yeah, her car is smashed up pretty good. We were actually going through an intersection and a woman ran the stop sign and smashed into the side of us. So now I'm just going to give you a little tour and show you where we're living now. This is it, the basement. We also call this area the dungeon. Through here we have our little bathroom. Shower, sink, and then through here is our bedroom. We have our bed here, and then over here on this side, is Molly's little room so in a way this is kind of uh, kind of a good I don't know stepping stones it's kind of a it's kind of a nice middle ground for uh, you know where we were living where we had a lot of space and a lot of belongings and stuff and now we've just kind of been forced to downsize just because you know we've got so much less space that we're living in so in addition to living in the basement, we're also boat shopping. And I wanna show you some of the things that we're looking for in a sailboat. So let me show you some of the listings and I'll talk about, you know, kind of what we're looking for and what we do want and what we don't want and such as that. You know, I'd like to buy a sailboat directly from the owner, but in the sailboat industry, I find that most sailboats are for sale by a broker. The real trouble that I think we'd run into with a broker is that in our price range that we're looking for for a boat, there's not a lot of incentive for brokers at this end of the market. So uh, I think I would do better by just buying directly from the owner. But anyways, that's my logic at this point. But anyways, one of the, the websites that I go to to look for sailboats is called sailboatlistings.com. So I want to show you just a couple of, uh, you know, models that I've come across and kind of explain why we're looking at this particular kind of boat. So let's see, uh, let's look first at a, uh, at a Morgan Out Island. Uh, here's a, let me, I can kind of use this one as, as an example. The draft on this boat is less than four feet. And what the draft is, it's the, it's the amount of the boat that is under the water. So for us, being that we're going to uh, the Bahamas, where uh, a lot of the water is very shallow, a boat with a four foot or less draft is a good thing. Uh, there's boats out there that have like six and seven foot drafts. And I mean, you just wouldn't be able to really, you know, get into a lot of the anchorages in that kind of boat. So that's one thing that this one has going for it is it has a only a three foot, 10 inch draft. So that's good. Uh, the other thing about this boat, as you can see here, uh, where it says beam, it is a 11 foot, 10 inch beam. And what that is, that's the width of the boat at the widest point. And as far as sailboats go in this, uh, you know, this range, which is 33 feet overall, 
A 12-foot beam is actually a very wide boat, and what that equates to is it's got a lot of living space on the inside, basically. So, you know, the out island is good because it's got a shallow draft, it's a wide boat, and there's a lot of space on the inside. Now, another couple things that are good about this one is, as you can see from the picture, this, this boat has a single mast. And for us, we just want the single mast just for simplicity's sake. We don't want two masts, which mean twice as much sail and twice as much rigging. And, uh, you know, it's just a lot more to manage and a lot of things that can, uh, can go wrong. So for us, simple is better. And that's why we want the single masted boat. Um, up here at the front, if you can see in this picture, this uh, kind of thick blue line right here, that's actually another sail that's rolled up on itself. And this is called a, a roller furled head sail. So um, we like this just because, you know, you can pull the sail out and then when you're done using it, you don't have to, you know, take it down from that, that, uh, Gosh, I can't remember the name of that, that particular piece of rigging in the front, but you don't have to take it down, you just roll it up on itself. So it makes it easy to manage the boat with a roller furling head sail. And then here on the back, this little blue cover is called a bimini. It basically, it, I mean, it just, it's a shade, basically it gives you shade. And uh, for us going in the Bahamas, shade is going to be very, very important. So this boat had some things going for it. That is the Morgan Out Island. Let me show you one other one. Uh, actually, the boat that right now is at the that is at the top of our list, and maybe one that we might go see here in a in a week or two, and maybe even make an offer on, is a Pearson. But it's called a P35. Uh, this is a Pearson 35. It's similar. It's only two feet longer than that Morgan Out Island. Uh, again, it's a single masted boat. It has a roller furling head sail. This particular one has a completely enclosed cockpit so there's lots of shade it's got mosquito netting and that kind of thing so that kind of thing is nice Let's see if I can find a couple pictures on the inside of the boat okay all right so here's a picture of uh, the Pearson 35 looking towards the cockpit or towards the the back of the boat from the inside of the cabin and what you got here is the it's the stairs leading up out of the companionway you got a little galley sink here uh, if you can see it this little box here in the counter that's actually uh, it's called the ice box It's basically the equivalent of a refrigerator in a boat and then you can just barely see the knobs poking out here for the oven and the stove and right here in this area is where the oven and the stove would be this is a picture of the cockpit you know pretty basic this is a, what you know a lot of sailboat uh, cockpits look like in this range it's got a, a wheel steering and it's got your engine controls right here Okay, so what you're looking at here is what you call a little dinette area. It's got, you know, basically like little bench seats on the sides and underneath there's storage. Um, this little table here in the middle, on most of these boats, the table kind of goes down to the level of the, you know, the bench seat. Uh, it basically turns it into a little bed. Uh, <laughs> I don't know who this lady is. Well, that's uh, pretty much what I wanted to, to show you. This is kind of uh, an example of the kind of boat we're looking for. Each boat is kind of a compromise. We keep finding ones that have some of those features and not others, and some prices are, are higher, and the boat is in better shape, and other boats are, you know, they're just really cheap, but they're, they usually need a lot of work. So it's a real balancing act uh, concerning, like, you know, the condition and the features that it has, and also where the boat is located, you know. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what we're up to right now. Just hanging out here in the dungeon, uh, working a lot to save up money, and boat shopping. And that's where we're at right now.